This medication, Rydex, is a combination product used to treat symptoms caused by the common cold, flu, allergies, hay fever, or other breathing illnesses, such as sinusitis and bronchitis. It contains decongestants to relieve stuffy nose symptoms, an opioid cough suppressant to reduce the urge to cough, and antihistamines to relieve watery eyes, itchy eyes slash nose slash throat, runny nose, and sneezing. It's important to note that opioid cough suppressants should not be used by children younger than 18 years due to the risk of serious side effects, especially breathing problems. It's crucial to talk with a doctor about the risks and benefits of this medication before giving it to a child. It's also worth mentioning that cough and cold products do not cure colds, and cough due to a common cold often does not need to be treated with medicine. Always consult with your doctor or pharmacist about other ways to relieve cough and cold symptoms, such as drinking enough fluids, using a humidifier, or saline nose drop slash spray. As always, follow the recommended dosage and timing for this medication. Before you start taking Rydex, make sure to read the medication guide from your pharmacist. If you have any questions, consult your doctor or pharmacist. Take this medication by mouth with or without food, with a full glass of water, or as directed by your doctor. The dosage is based on your medical condition and response to treatment. If you are using the liquid form, make sure to use a medication measuring device or spoon to carefully measure the prescribed dose. Do not use a household spoon because you may not get the correct dose. If you are using the sustained release tablets or capsules, make sure to swallow the medication whole and do not crush, chew, or break them. Do not increase your dose or use this product more often or for longer than directed. If you suddenly stop using this medication, you may have withdrawal symptoms. If you have been using this medication for a long time or in high doses, tell your doctor or pharmacist right away if you have withdrawal symptoms. This medication has a risk for abuse and may sometimes cause addiction. Take this medication exactly as directed to lower the risk of addiction. If you have been using this medication for an extended time and it stops working well, talk with your doctor. Tell your doctor if your cough does not get better in 5 days, or if your condition gets worse, or if you have a headache that doesn't go away, fever, or rash. Some common side effects of Rydex include drowsiness, dizziness, headache, blurred vision, upset stomach, nausea, constipation, and dry mouth slash nose slash throat. If any of these effects persist or worsen, notify your doctor or pharmacist right away. To relieve dry mouth, you can suck on, sugarless, hard candy or ice chips, chew, sugarless, gum, drink water, or use a saliva substitute. It's important to drink plenty of fluids unless directed otherwise by your doctor to prevent the medication from drying up and thickening mucus in your lungs. To reduce the risk of dizziness and lightheadedness, make sure to get up slowly when rising from a sitting or lying position. It's important to note that if your doctor has prescribed this medication, they have determined that the benefit to you is greater than the risk of side effects. However, it's essential to inform your doctor right away if you experience any serious side effects, such as interrupted breathing during sleep, mental-slash-mood changes, ringing in the ears, shaking, trouble urinating, weakness, easy bruising-slash-bleeding, or fast-slash-slow-slash-irregular heartbeat. Seek immediate medical help if you experience very serious side effects, including seizure. This medication may cause serious mental-slash-mood changes and rarely fatal breathing problems, so it's crucial to get medical help right away if you notice slow-slash-shallow breathing, severe drowsiness-slash-difficulty waking up, or confusion. While a serious allergic reaction to this drug is rare, it's important to get medical help right away if you notice symptoms of a serious allergic reaction, such as rash, itching-slash-swelling, severe dizziness, or trouble breathing. Remember that this is not a complete list of possible side effects, so if you notice any other effects not listed, make sure to contact your doctor or pharmacist. When taking Rydex, it's important to be aware of the potential for abuse and addiction, which can lead to overdose and death. This medication may also cause severe, possibly fatal, breathing problems. To lower your risk, your doctor should have you take the smallest dose that works, and take it for the shortest possible time. It's important to avoid alcohol or other drugs that can cause drowsiness or breathing problems while taking Rydex, as this can lead to very serious side effects, including death. It's also important to keep this medication in a safe place to prevent theft, misuse, or abuse, and if someone accidentally swallows this drug, medical help should be sought right away.
Women of childbearing age should talk with their doctor about the risks and benefits of using Ridex, as it is not recommended during pregnancy and may slightly increase the risk of birth defects if used during the first two months of pregnancy. Using it for a long time or in high doses near the expected delivery date may also harm the unborn baby, and babies born to mothers who use this drug for a long time may develop severe withdrawal symptoms. Before taking Ridex, it's important to talk to your doctor or pharmacist if you have any allergies or if you have a medical history of certain conditions such as abdominal problems, adrenal gland issues, breathing problems, diabetes, heart problems, high blood pressure, kidney or liver disease, mental-slash-mood problems, seizures, thyroid problems, urination issues, or a personal or family history of substance use disorder. Ridex may cause dizziness, drowsiness, or blurred vision, and using alcohol or marijuana can increase these effects. It's important to avoid driving, using machinery, or doing anything that requires alertness or clear vision until you can do so safely. It's also advised to avoid alcoholic beverages and talk to your doctor if you are using marijuana. This medication may contain aspartame, sugar, and or alcohol, so if you have phenylketonuria, diabetes, alcohol dependence, or liver disease, it's important to consult your doctor or pharmacist before using Ridex. Older adults may be more sensitive to the side effects of Ridex, especially confusion, dizziness, drowsiness, slow-slash-shallow breathing, fast heartbeat, constipation, and trouble urinating, which can increase the risk of falling. If you are pregnant or think you may be pregnant, it's important to talk to your doctor as Ridex is not recommended during pregnancy and may harm an unborn baby. Additionally, this product may pass into breast milk and may have undesirable effects on a nursing infant, so consult your doctor before breastfeeding. It's important to be aware of potential drug interactions when taking Ridex. Always keep a list of all the products you use and share it with your doctor and pharmacist. Do not start, stop, or change the dosage of any medicines without your doctor's approval. Some products that may interact with Ridex include antihistamines applied to the skin, naltrexone, and samidorphan. Taking MAO inhibitors with Ridex may cause a serious and potentially fatal drug interaction. It's important to avoid taking MAO inhibitors during treatment with Ridex. The risk of serious side effects such as slow-slash-shallow breathing and severe drowsiness-slash-dizziness may be increased if Ridex is taken with other products that may also cause drowsiness or breathing problems. It's important to tell your doctor or pharmacist if you are taking other products such as opioid pain or cough relievers, alcohol, marijuana, drugs for sleep or anxiety, muscle relaxants, or other antihistamines. It's also important to check the labels on all your medicines, as they may contain ingredients that cause drowsiness. Additionally, other medications can affect the removal of Ridex from your body, which may affect how it works. This medication may also interfere with certain medical-slash-lab tests, potentially causing false results. Always make sure lab personnel and all your doctors know you use Ridex. Remember, always consult your doctor or pharmacist before starting or stopping any medications. If you or someone else has taken too much Ridex and is experiencing severe symptoms like passing out or difficulty breathing, it's important to seek immediate medical help by calling 911 or a poison control center. Symptoms of an overdose can include confusion, cold or clammy skin, a fast, slow, or irregular heartbeat, shallow breathing, seizures, or coma. It's crucial to get help right away in these situations. If your doctor has prescribed Ridex to you, it is important that you do not share it with others, as this is against the law. If you are taking Ridex on a regular schedule and happen to miss a dose, take it as soon as you remember. However, if it is close to the time for your next dose, it is best to just skip the missed dose and take your next dose at the regular scheduled time. It is important not to double the dose in order to make up for the missed one. As for the optimal timing, it is best to take Ridex as prescribed by your doctor. When storing Ridex, it's important to keep it at room temperature and away from light and moisture. Make sure to store it in a place other than the bathroom, and avoid freezing the liquid forms of this medication. It's crucial to keep all medications out of reach of children and pets. When it comes to disposing of Ridex, do not flush it down the toilet or pour it into a drain unless specifically instructed to do so. Instead, properly discard the product when it is expired or no longer needed. 
you can consult your pharmacist or local waste disposal company for guidance on the proper disposal of Rydex. If you need more help, call your doctor for medical advice. In the US, you call FDA, 1-800-FDA-1088. In Canada, you may call Health Canada, 1-866-234-2345. Wishing you good health. Thanks for watching.